the most perplexing thing. People, for example, again, I would use the U.S. demand thing. People were saying, no demand, no demand. Well, look at what April did. I wouldn't be surprised that if we see the, again, the updated numbers of May or the updated, but it seems to be that they're coming, corrections are coming ex post facto. Uh, you cannot change a negativity that is emanating from, as again, Helena is saying, uh, it's a tell me type of thing, not a show me type of thing. Unfortunately, the show me thing comes a month or two later. But there is a great deal of negativism, a diverse type of negativism that is up, taking everything as a hostage. I think clarity for what the central bankers would do will help. I think better and more numbers would come that would show that uh, inflation is somewhat and it's, by, by the way, again, people overlook the fact that inflation is being managed. Inflation did come down for quite an uh, amount of percentages ever since. So the tools in the kit with the central bankers, so as the tools in our kit, whom we still claim ourselves being the central bankers, are working and playing. We're doing a great deal deal of job maintaining stability of this market, mind you of the range where people can fiddle with, uh, so as the central bankers. So it's, I don't know, but I would, I would assume one thing, that as central bankers are focused in attending to their mission, I have to say, and I believe our friends here can validate that, uh, when their turn comes to, to speak, that I am very in my comfort zone that the cohesion that we have, that the consensus process that we've created will enable us to attend to these situations now, next month, the month after. And we still have our you know, tools in our kit.